All right. You're at Rock and Flying Y Ranch, and uh, just uh, my dad and my uh, son are out in the back building a, uh, a trailer, or at least putting some sidewalls on a trailer. And uh, I'm uh, out here by the house uh, setting up a, a water system for the house. And so the, besides, I, uh, before I show you the system I built, just give you an update. So uh, back in September of 2020, would have been last year, I set up a, uh, a water filtration company to set up me an RO system for this house because our water has a lot of salt and a lot of other minerals and, and organic materials that uh, need to be filtered out. So went through um, a, a water filtration company in Idaho. They said, hey, yeah, we can build you something. And so for about nine months, they were looking at building me one and so on. Well, about three months ago, I got the hammer dropped on me that says, sorry, we aren't able to build you a system. And so our house had been built by then. It was just about finished. And so now with our well and our well driller being about a year out and biz, uh, being so busy, I was stuck. So I had to build a, a water system to transfer water. So that's that's the, uh, the background. So I'm going to flip the... So what I've done here is I ended up buying a, a 400-gallon potable water tank and right now it's sitting on a 59 Ford F100 and you can tell that it's it is pretty low to the ground and so what I ended up doing was buying a 1600 gallon potable water tank that sits in my garage and that's going to be my water source and so you'll see a bunch of um PEX piping and all that next to my hot water. I'll walk you through what I did. And so what I wanted to do is build a system that not only would send water into my house, but also uh, fill up this tank from that water, that transfer tank, because I'm going to be hauling in water every day. That's 400 gallons. Well, my truck can't handle that right now, but that's beyond the point. So what I did was I bought a, a, uh, a pump that is going to pump water into my house from this 1600 gallon tank. And so, as you can see, I have pipes everywhere. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. So out of my, pi uh, my pump, you'll see that there is this elbow that's, that is uh, going down. That is going to my inlet to my pump and so on. So at the bottom of the tank, that my water, that's my suction coming out from the tank and it's going suctioning from the pump and it's gonna go up and into my house. That's my cold water inlet, which would be an outlet, if you will, to my hot water tank. And you'll notice that my blue water, water filter is on the wrong side. It actually needs to be uh, on, before it gets into the house and I'll fix that later. But so it's going to go push into the house and also split into my hot water tank. This second line with these valves, these ball bearing ball valves, is the actual fill. So with shutting off valves and turning on valves, I'll use the same pump to go ahead and pump water from that tank to, through this hose. And it's going to go through that ball valve, there's the pump come up and around and it's gonna go this way and fill in my 1600 gallon tank. So we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop. So I'm opening up this valve and that's sending water, but my pump's not on because I shut off a valve. Okay, so my valve is open to I believe almost 100%, okay? So then to this valve, it's shut off. So the water is shut off at this point. Now I'm gonna shut this off. That's already off. And then, because I don't want water going back that way, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off, which is off, and turn this on, which is already on. Turn on the pump and we're gonna see it how it how it goes. Pump is on. 
I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And this is on. Okay, so, and this is off. Now it's on. That's on. And this is off. That's on. And this is off. So I'm just trying to show. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Oh. What's happened is uh, that last video I paused it, but it's working now. I had air in the system. Now it's pumping. Sweet! It's drawing water from there. So, so far, phase one is working. And they're pumping. So that water is coming from my transfer tank. I'm gonna go ahead and sh shut this so I don't get any materials in it. So the next time I'm on, the next time I'm on, I'm gonna pump water from this 1600 gallon tank to um, the end of the house. So I'm gonna time it to see how long it takes to get um, 200 gallons or 150 gallons. Okay, back at uh, this uh, water system that I've uh, installed. So you see that I've got leaks. I've got leaks here because I didn't put um, the Teflon tape between plastic and the brass fitting, which um, is a no-no. Same here, but I haven't got any leak yet. Um, I've got a leak here, right? And I've got a leak. I've got leaks, so I've got a leak here because, again, I didn't put... I'm probably going to have a leak up there or there. But the good thing is it is pumping. It is pumping and doing what I needed to do. And I stuck my ear to this and I hear water running in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check to see if any of the faucets in the house is uh, gonna run. So be back in a minute to see if, if this system is gonna pump in the house. All right, it's Bob Yunker here again. Hey. Um, it's a new day. I got uh, my youngest uh, building a little base, a home base behind me right now, uh, doing a fantastic job drilling and so on. But it's a new day. Yesterday I set this uh, system up. But uh, today, new day, unfortunately, is a very disappointing day because I broke a piece off the pump and I'll show. So I broke the uh, black cap that went to the end of that pump. It was right here, so I had to run down to our local hardware, st hardware store to hopefully uh, figure something out, and I did. And so it's pumping really well, actually, better than it was yesterday. And I think the reason why, one of the reasons why, is number I got all the leaks uh, taken care of, and cap this off so there's no air in the tank uh, that's one of the reasons but at this point it looks like I have no leaks at least at this point from here all the way down you see water from yesterday's issues and so there we are and then in a few minutes we'll pump more water into the house now I one of the issues I had yesterday is that this 1600 gallon tank is so big that the 150 gallons I brought barely, barely reached over that, that edge there. So I ran out of basically suction. And so today, hopefully with my 120 something gallons, I will be able to cap that and have, I mean, excuse me, have more water over that suction into the house. So more to come in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm back out here. Um, now I go, went ahead and drained my tank, my transfer tank that's behind me. And so now I have switched 
pump and I mean excuse me I switched the directions and now I'm pumping into the house from this uh, 1600 gallon tank so as you just heard the pump just shut off because it's reached its um, pressure so all my lines have water I'm going to take you in the house in just a minute but again I'm uh, finding that I have a leak there I have a leak there and I have another leak um, right <clears throat> I forget where the other one is they have three little leaks here those are all manageable Lisa I'm gonna I'll be, I think I'll be able to take care of them I don't want to get them any worse and I don't want them to prolong especially winter times coming so I'll get those taken care of but I want to bring you in the house and so Here's the little kitchen sink, and so here, that's coming out of my 1600 gallon cistern. And I don't have my hot water tank um, turned on to heat up the water, but that's hot water. And then here is the toilet. And that's all coming from the 1600 gallon tank. So then I'll take you back out here. And the pump is just turned on because it lost its pressure and so now it's pumping more water out. So there it is, I finally uh, got it. It's been a, a difficult process, especially after breaking the little cap off the, off the, the pump, but I will, uh, I will get these leaks fixed and have a blessed day. I hope this helps you if you're looking at, at putting together a a, uh, a system for your house that you need to haul in water because you have a better water source or if you want to live off grid uh, you can do that all all one needs to is there's my electrical cord to my pump and it's just going to 110 you can transfer that or transition that to a uh, converter and use just a uh, battery and that will work just fine as well hope this helps